IHCN Studios. It's Braves Beat. Hello, Braves, and welcome to this week's episode of Braves Beat. I'm Patrick Langworthy. And I'm JC. So, JC, how's your week been? It's been pretty good. How about you? Yeah, it's been same old, same old. Pretty normal, which is nice for this time of the year. We have a lot of news to cover, so let's get started. Hispanic Heritage Month, observed from September 15th to October, is a time to celebrate the rich, cultures, and significant contributions of the Hispano and Latino Americans. Across the country, events and programs highlight their enduring influence and promote cultural understanding. Join us in honoring the Hispanic and Latino heritage that has shaped the United States. Our homecoming festivities are fast approaching. Voting for the movie is still open and it will be held in the cafeteria. If you missed it, Jason Dow broke the junior world record relay in the 4x100 meter freestyle. Great work, Jason. Up next, Gino and some of the Brave Speed team have created a new package. Take it away, team. Hello, Braves. Uh, this week we were a little short on content, and for some odd reason, we decided that we were going to get the odd, odd sodas. First up, we've got bacon soda. Ooh, actually, that's not good. Oh, it tastes burnt. It's like, like, it's just, it's sweet with like a hint of bacon behind it. Oh, man. I give it like a five. Five out of ten. Okay. Three out of ten. Three out of ten. Three out of ten. Solid. are still available. We have 25 left, so reach out to Mrs. Pfeiffer either in room 222 or by email if you're interested. They are $79. Micah and George have our sports report. Let's see it, boys. Hello, Braves. I'm Micah Solichak with this week's sports report. And I'm George Zaring. We have a lot of news to cover, so let's get on with it. Our football team played Marymount last Friday at home and won big 42-21. Congrats on head coach John Rodenberg for reaching his 200th career win. Tonight, our boys play at Deer Park at 7 p.m. Make sure to come out and show your support. Our field hockey team played SUA last Thursday and won 2-1. to one. They played Summit yesterday. We will have those results for you next week. Our cross-country team had a meet last Saturday at Mason. The boys team finished fourth place out of 22. Our team is currently in Florida right now and just ran in the Lake Buena Vista Invitational. We will have the results for that meet next week. The girls tennis team improved to 9-0 with a win versus Marymount last Wednesday. They played CCD in their first state match and won. They also played Madeira yesterday and won 5-0 to remain undefeated. Great job, girls. The boys soccer team took on Madeira Tuesday and won 2-0. 
They play Bellbrook High School on Saturday. Good luck, guys. The girls' soccer team played Deer Park last Wednesday and dominated 9-0. They took a loss to McNick on Saturday 2-1. They play Madeira on Wednesday and will play Archbishop Ultra High School this Saturday. We will have the results for you next week. Now in golf, at the CHL Tri-Match, Indian Hill Boys Golf bested Madeira and Marymount with a score of 161. Finally, our volleyball team won 3-0 versus Reading last Thursday. They also beat Finneytown on Thursday 3-0 as well. Great work, girls. Well, that's all the sports we have for this week. Back to you, JC and Patrick. On September 24th at 1.40 p.m., Indy Hill families, members, and friends will come together to receive discounted tickets for the Reds game against the Pirates. This event is a great opportunity to support the community of Indian Hill, so make sure to be there. All right, Braves, that's all the news we have for this week. Be sure to follow us on Twitter, subscribe to us on YouTube, and email us with any school updates. And remember, stay, stay classy, classy, Indian Hill. Hello, Braves. We're interviewing some students, asking them would they rather questions. Here with uh, Junior Hunt Hagen. Hunt, how are you doing today? I'm good. Great day to be a brave. So, um, <laughs> if you were in the Star Wars universe, would you rather be a Sith or a Jedi? Uh, I'd have to go Jedi for sure. Up the Can side. you explain your answer? I don't know. I don't know if that, uh, that dark, uh, that, uh, bad energy in me. <laughs> Well, you heard it here first. With senior Mackenzie Stoddard. Mackenzie, would you rather swim in a pool of maple syrup or Nutella? Nutella. Good answer. I'm about to get it. I'm here with senior Chase Lano. Chase, <laughs> this is important. Would you rather die a hero or live long enough to see yourself become a villain? Um, wow. Really deep and philosophical question you have there. Um, I have to say, die hero. You know, life's short and you want to leave it on good terms. I'm here with Mr. Saeed, and we're going to ask him some would you rather questions. So, would you rather be royalty a thousand years ago, or just be a normal modern human today? I would rather be a modern normal human today. Why? Because. Um, Quite honestly, the food wasn't as good back then, and the hygiene was horrible. Thank you. Here you go, Bob.